welcome back now. Coming back to events, it's one of the coolest features which Google Plus has introduced. You're going to be basically creating a community right on Google Plus in live real time. So the first thing you want to do is to create an event. So you can see here, go ahead and click on the create an event option. And this is basically going to be your invitation to your, you know, to whoever you're going to invite to this particular event. So it could be birthday party, it could be just watching a movie, it could be anything. So you can change the theme by clicking the arrows left and right here. So you can go ahead and do that, or you can just click on change theme, and it gives you a bunch of options. So you know, if it's someone's birthday, or you're having a dinner party, or a picnic. Um, you know, there's tons of different options here. If you want to go watch a sport game or, you know, even just go out at night, you everything is there for you. Alternatively, you can just make it real simple. Choose stationary. This will just give you some picturesque sort of invitations. Then you've got photos, and you've also got an option to upload your own as well. So let's just say we had a barbecue. We'll go ahead and set that as a theme. Event title, let's put as my for the queue. Event options, here you can go to guests can invite other people. I'm not going to have that happen. Guests can add photos, that's always cool. Go ahead and click on advanced. Now this is where you can have options for Google Plus Hangouts, event is online only, this is not the case. Make this an event on air, so anyone can view this event. Now this is a very cool feature as well. Um, and you can also show additional fields, so let's just go ahead and check mark that. Location, let's just put my house. Obviously you've got a bunch of options here that um, come up automatically. We'll go ahead and get details. Um, let's see. In the back garden. And there, lastly, you've got the people you're going to invite. So whether it's friends, family, acquaintances. So let's just go ahead and invite some friends, for example. Once we're done, all you got to do is click on invite. Obviously, make sure your date and your time is set, you've got an add end time option there, I'm just going to leave that blank. And you go ahead and click on invite. So here we are, now we've got the event here. Now this is going to be on air, we've got the option to invite more people if we want, and we can go ahead and, you know, just kind of keep the post live. Now on the event, the people are going to have an option to choose whether they're going to go, Maybe or not. Obviously, I'm, it's my whole event, so I'm going to be automatically going, of course. Here, you can go ahead and add photos about the event. So, if you've got the Android app installed, you can go ahead and do that in real time, and it'll automatically post up on the event page. Or you can go ahead and add photos once the event's finished as well. Now, if you click on the Actions button here, You've got event options again, you've got the manage guest list, you can disable comments, you can edit the event, or you can go ahead and delete the event as well. So that's the basic overlay of events here. Now if you click on the events button here on the top on the left hand side, we'll go to the main events page again. Now here it kind of shows you your upcoming events, this is what we just created. You can schedule hangouts, plan your next hangout, you can find more events, you can view your calendar. And again, going back into party mode where you can share instantly photos as they happen. So it's a very cool feature, as I said, really excited about it. Make sure you check it out. It's Google Events. It's going to be one of the next big things with Google+. So hope that kind of explained it all for you, and we'll see you in the next video.